Hey boys, what is up? Welcome to the first and possibly the last episode <laughs> in the Young Guns. Um, I'll get into that when the game starts, but we're going to take a look at the side I put together. As you see, Cameron Munster at fullback, Marmon Barber, Corey Oates, John Folau, Carlin Anderson, the other winger. Uh, then we have Anthony Milford and Luke Brooks in the halves. So a very young side, very young backline. Uh, Luke Brooks... Oh, I just said that. I don't know why I said it again. <laughs> Dylan Nupper, Jake Granville, David Clemmer. Then we have Paulie Paulie, Jason Tamalolo, and Tyrone Peachy. Uh, on the bench, we have Tepe Moroa, Cody Nikarima, Matty Parcel, and Jake Tabojevic. And then we have a few a few spares. LG, Nikarima, Offengawi, Ashley Taylor, Tilvas, Shek, Parrot, Pangai. So, you know, a very, very strong, very good young, young side. I think uh, Peachy was a... Uh, the oldest guy, but I say possibly the last episode because, um, as you see here, we're versing a dude. He's picked the Melbourne Storm, are very good in this game. Um, they're definitely, I'd say overall, they're high rated than our team, but it doesn't really matter. Our team's pretty solid, but I mean, you'll, I just, I, I'm not sure, guys. I don't know if I can bring myself to playing too many online matches because we'll get into this game, but, uh, this game was probably not a great first one. Just because it was it was really laggy. It wasn't really laggy for me. Like I, I'm really curious as to see what um what his his perspective watch. Because you'll see right here, this dude is lagging all over the shop. Um, <laughs> we we get lucky there and actually get the ball back. Um, so we're gonna start this game off well. We're gonna get on the the offensive straight away. Grandfather our dummy half gets it to uh, Luke Brooks. It looks like. And I made a custom jersey. Looks pretty solid. I'm not too dis disheartened by it. But nice stuff here. Just out to the back line. Panguy should have gone himself. Actually, who was that? Was that Panguy? Or was that John Folau? It might have been John Folau. Um, but we're spreading back. Dylan Napa gets it back to Milford. Shrugs off one. Almost straight through. But pretty good defense by him. But it, yeah, as you see, like his defense, he is just all over the shop. It's hard to know where the hell he is. Um, but as you see, Jason Tamalolo, he came racing up with one of his players and just completely whiffed. But Big Tamalolo um, just goes over for an easy try. Obviously, one of the best plays in the game. So, I think he's, yeah, he's only 21, 22, 22. So, still obviously a young player. I think it was Cooper Crunky got racing up there. And that's a little thing you'll notice in this game. This dude just constantly runs with, like, the fastest player it looks like to catch me. But uh, the game starts off pretty well, you know. I knew he was, that's what I'm saying. I, I wonder what his perspective was. Because he didn't have much trouble when he had the ball. Um, but we're gonna miss this kick. This is terrible. So, just completely mistimed it, and that's that's not good. That might come back to bite us. Who knows? But as you see, he kicked off, and still pretty pretty uh, low into this game. Tyrant PG straight through. Billy Slater, best fullback in the game, probably comes up with a tackle. Uh, but yeah, we started this game off like a house on fire. Anthony Milford straight through. Probably shouldn't have passed it a monster, but gets taken there. But I'm sorry, but this guy was. Fucking garbage. I'm, <laughs> I'm being serious. This dude was trash. I actually, this is the first online game since I've played since the uh, Mr. Luke series we had. So I'm really rusty, but I thought I played this game pretty good. Tyron Peachy here gets the offload, and I don't know who the hell that was. Paulie Paulie just drops the damn ball. After not a bad little set from us, last tackle bomb. Um, But right here, you know, look at this dude just lagging all over the shop. I could barely tackle him right here. Somehow we come up with the tackle. And yeah, it was it was an absolute nightmare to defend because that's what he did right there. He passed it pretty much three, four passes wide straight away, just like the cheesy tactics. I mean, this dude just typifies online in this game, and that's why I haven't played it and don't want to really play much online. It just it is full of cheesy fucking garbage. You know, against the AI, they actually play the AI actually plays properly. It might not be the best AI in any game, but they just play decently, and you can have a bit of fun. Um, you know, you can play decent footy. You don't have to play, like, garbage like this. Um, but he puts in a kick right here, and I thought he was straight through. I would have been pretty mad. That was a pretty shocking kick, but we do defend pretty well, you know. Even though he's juking all over shop, he is just, uh, warping. But a long pass out here. Gets it out to his outside men, and it's going to be, uh, Marika Coravetti. Just, uh, I just did not know where to try to tackle him there. I knew he was going to cut back. He actually didn't. He tried to go on the outside, and... Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty tough. Um, right here, we missed the tackle one on one. Who was that? Is that Marmon Barber? 
Yeah, it must be Barber. Um, but yeah, then Munster come up with an air air swing as well, pretty much. And he's going to convert the try, pretty much. So uh, we did start the game off strongly, but 30 minutes gone and he picks up the try. It was very disappointing because, like I said, this dude was garbage, total trash. He couldn't actually... I thought our defense is good, but it just takes one, one like, passing it out to your, your fast players on the edges, and they're going to be straight through, so got to be careful. But this guy, five minutes ago on the half, he's going to throw a silly offload, knocks the ball on, so we got a chance to uh, extend the lead before half time. Gets it out to Milford here. I thought Milford would straight through, but then Chambers came from absolutely nowhere to chase him down. I was pretty surprised right there. But David Clemmer here gets the ball off. One more pass while we would have been through, but good defense by him coming up, shutting it down. And then we try to spread it out here. Luke Brooks gets the ball onto Corey Oates once again. Just holding off, letting us do our thing. Um, and right there, I actually passed the ball, but yeah, just a bit of delay. You have to just delay for delay in this. And then Napa here on the wing gets it out to Mohamed Barber. Oh, I was just killing, oh, I was kicking myself, and we just had a really good winger. Uh, but right here, you'll see um, one of the reasons I'm pretty frustrated and might this be the last episode. He uh, does this apparent fucking tactic. So I, I haven't played any online matches, so I don't really know about this. But apparently that's a tactic. So he kicks it like really short and your player picks it up. Um, it's definitely over the 10 meter line or the 40 meter line. So it, uh, it should just be our ball, but apparently it's just given a penalty. And you'll see quite a bit of that. You'll see a bit of that in this game. Uh, so that was disappointing. But right here, uh, this dude, obviously trash player, gets tackled on last tackle again. So we survive again. Uh, it's looking a bit risky, but, you know, we're, we're defending well. I thought our attack was actually pretty decent as well this game. We're making a lot of half breaks. It's just that our plays just aren't, aren't the best, and we're just not quite getting away but right here we are going to get pretty lucky here it's just uh we had a pretty good blindside play and then all of a sudden the ball just spews out the back he kicks it and John Folau is going to race away just no one in sight plants a ball down under the post and it's going to be the first try in the second half so you know all the complaining I'm doing people are probably mad at me for complaining this much but this game I was just so frustrated this game and it's going to get worse it'll get worse don't you worry but uh, right here, we did definitely get lucky here. Uh, he just <laughs> he kicked it back with Chambers, and then Slater was like, I don't want any of this. He just runs away, and the big John Folau picks it up. Just uh, just, <laughs> just an easy try. I was happy. I was happy. I was like, that's a bit of karma. If you want to play like a, just like a chump, then karma can go my way, and that's exactly what happened. Is Anthony Milford lines his kick up. And I like the I like the sock color coordination with the boots there. That's why I went with the socks because it <laughs> it had uh, Anthony Milford as the display guy, and I was like, damn, those socks they match perfectly with the boots. But as you see, he does the shot kick off again, and this time uh, we don't pick it up. He picks it up, and uh, he doesn't get penalized, so he he's uh, on the attack straight away. So that's you know, good fun, good fun um, playing like this. It's uh, very enjoyable. Uh, he goes straight through. Great tackle there by, I don't know who it was, but he's an uh, absolute try saver. And then Cameron Smith from uh, dummy half, his, <laughs> his plays actually all ran through. That little glitch that happened, so that was pretty funny again. But he's just passing it, glitching all over the place. Somehow Milford uh, comes from nowhere to make that tackle. He, he was nowhere near him, but uh, we're just holding on. We're just holding on for dear life. Um, he spreads it out here, gets the ball on, and we really couldn't, I don't know, we, we just couldn't tackle him. It was just impossible. It was so hard to make tackles. We had to just pretty much get lucky. Just, um, I mean, he was straight through there with one player. He gets it on to Tohu Harris, who gets on the out the back, and Corey Oates was left stranded. Just couldn't really do anything. The the combination of lag and the combination of his uh, garbage, cheesy tactic playstyle was uh, was too much for our defense to handle right there. So, as you see, that first misconversion is definitely coming back to bite us. As you see right here, he's gonna. Nail this kick straight down the middle. Easy as you like. I can't believe I missed that kick. I was so mad about that. <clears throat> but as you see, 65 minutes gone. We have a good chance here. Gets it at Corey Oates. Corey Oates, one-on-one. -on -one, bang, straight off the left foot. Billy Slater, just so quick. Just rounds him up in like two sec, Like, point one of his... 
I don't know what I'm saying, but that was, <laughs> he rounded us up so quickly. Big David Clemens straight through the gap. You know, we're just rolling forward. We're just making easy ground. And then right here, spread it out. Tom Lola, inside pass. Beautiful. Onto John Folau. That is, I was so happy with that try. Like, I was happy with this game. Like, the way I was playing, I was, I was actually pleased. You know, I thought, if this game wasn't fucking laggy as shit, I would have absolutely destroyed this game. I'm not, or destroyed this guy. I'm not going to lie. People might think I'm, I'm an idiot and that I still would have lost, but... Honestly, if this game wasn't laggy, I would have destroyed this guy. Like, I was defending pretty well even though he was lagging all over the shop. And just our attack was actually really good um, for having not the best outside backs. Like, our outside backs are decent, but they're all, like, high 70 rated, so they're not, not the greatest. But we score a try, so that pretty much means he's going to get the ball back. As you see, he does a short kickoff, and, yeah, once again... Um, we had to play that one, because if we leave it, he's just going to pick it up. Um, Parcel grabs that one, and that one was definitely over the line. I don't understand. It was definitely over the line. We get the penalty again, so he's going to go on the attack. Ten minutes left, and then right here, Corey Oates gets called offside, and he gets the penalty, um, even though like he passed the ball before. I don't even know. He was definitely wasn't offside, and then you'll see right here, Cooper Cronk uh, from the tap just, uh, just takes it. Um, I mean, could this guy any... Could he get any more cheesy? I mean, I know people want to win in online matches, but my god, dude, like, just use as many as you can. It looks like he fucking dropped it, but, uh, you know, Cooper Cronk, one of the best plays in this game as well. S like, insanely quick and good agility, so close to the line like that, he just had to run straight, uh, step, and he's probably nine times out of ten going to beat the first tackler, as he did right there. And just an easy try. He just went over untouched. His uh, Cameron Smith, in fact, kicks the goal straight down the middle. I'm looking at the goal kicking, and it actually looks a bit sus that they're going that straight. Like, usually there's a bit of swing. I I don't know. Do any of you guys think it's a little sus how straight those kicks are going? Like, they're going pinpoint. Uh, maybe I'm an idiot, but as you see, we actually didn't go for a short kickoff again. I was really thinking about going for the short kickoff that time because um, we needed the ball back. And as you see, it's going to be the last tackle here. We spread it out. Corey Oates, we're actually playing pretty good. Gets it onto Tepe Mura. And right here, should have just thrown the dummy, but I knew he was going to catch me. I had no other choice. Had to pass it. He's going to come up with it. And he's going to get the two-point win. But, yeah, we didn't go for the short kickoff because if you do normal short kickoffs, they don't generally work. But apparently there's some tactic where you can do, do them like he's doing it and pretty much get a penalty every time. So, as you see, we had four or six completions he had 10 or 12 like how are we even in that game like for serious <laughs> fucking hell man um but yeah this might be the last episode i i don't know if i can bring myself to play online this game uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed regardless and i'll see you next time